Hi everybody, this is Emily from the NetZoom team, here to show you how to use the NetZoom Visio add-in with your Visio Stencil subscription. For years, NetZoom users have enjoyed using NetZoom's comprehensive shape library to diagram their data center equipment in Microsoft Visio. Now, users can interchangeably choose to use their NetZoom Visio Stencil subscription in the NetZoom Visio add-in to easily search Visio stencils they have added to their library. The NetZoom Visio add-in is a powerful tool that enables seamless and convenient integration of NetZoom's equipment library with Microsoft Visio, so you can save time developing high-quality diagrams. Whether it's a single rack or an entire data center, the NetZoom Visio add-in provides the tools to create sophisticated network designs and documentation quickly and easily. In a previous video, we went over the installation of the NetZoom Visio add-in. As we said, when you enter your subscription number during authorization, it will automatically detect whether you are using NetZoom Visio stencils or NetZoom DSIM. First, let's log into service.netzoom.com to access our Visio stencils subscription. Navigate to service.netzoom.com and enter your username and password. Click Submit. Since we're using a NetZoom Visio Stencil subscription, we're going to focus on the My Stencils feature, found under the My Stencils tab. This feature is populated with NetZoom shapes that have been added from NetZoom's shape library. You can search the library using the controls on the right pane, using the drop-down lists to select manufacturers, equipment type, product lines, product numbers, and attributes. You could also search for devices by keywords. Enter the keyword you want to search in the text bar and select whether you want to search by any of the keywords or all words. In this case, I'll search for PowerEdge and select Dell as the manufacturer. When you're finished, click the search button to search for device shapes. As you can see, the middle pane will display the results from your search. By selecting a device, you can also see the properties and preview of the device. To add a device to your shape library, click and drag it to the library pane. Any shapes added to this pane can be downloaded by selecting them and clicking the download button, either VSSX or VSS if appropriate. Any shapes added to this pane will also be automatically populated in the NetZoom Visio add-in. Let's load up the add-in now and take a look at it. For now, we'll be using the add-in in standalone mode from our desktop. However, we can also use this add-in in integrated mode and open it directly from Microsoft Visio. Double-click the add-in to open it. If you want to use an integrated mode, open Microsoft Visio, click the add-ins tab, and select the NetZoom Visio add-in. If this is your first time loading the NetZoom Visio add-in, you will require activation. This can be done over the internet or by phone, although over the internet is recommended. Fill out the form presented by the product activation pane, including your subscription number. Click the activate button when finished. Now you're ready to use the NetZoom Visio add-in. As you can see, the Visio add-in will load and a search pane similar to the search pane found in service.netzoom.com will appear. Using the same controls as we saw there, we can search any state stencils we've added to our stencil library. Enter the information and click the search button. As you can see, results will appear in the results tab. As you can see, when you select a device shape, you're also able to view the properties of a shape or a 2D or 3D preview using these tabs at the bottom. The related tab is a convenient feature for finding shapes related to the current selection. When a shape is selected in the Results tab, if there are any related shapes, the Related tab will appear. When the Related tab is selected, the user can view and use these related shapes. For instance, when you are doing a card chassis configuration, you can select the chassis shape and see which cards are compatible with that chassis, and vice versa. To use your NetZoom shapes in Visio, first select the shape you want to use in Visio. Then, you can elect the position of the connection points that are added to the shape using the Connection Points drop-down box. The default connection points are recommended to ensure that devices snap together properly, and port-level connection points are created. Finally, drag and drop the desired shape from your Results pane into your Microsoft Visio page. Before you can build the rest of your diagram, you should learn some basics about the shapes themselves. NetZoom shapes are embedded with various properties and specifications. 
They include model numbers and product dimensions, just to name a few. You can view these properties by right-clicking on the shape and using Microsoft Visio's data slash shape data command to view the properties. Nestum shapes also have built-in connection points that match data ports and power ports and equipment slots. These true-to-life shapes let users connect equipment and configure racks and chassis-based equipment just like they would the actual network. So for example, using this device, we can see that both of these ports on the front of the device have a connection point. For example, we've got two racks here and this rack-mounted device that's not placed on the rack. Using NetZoom's connection points, we can take this device and put it on its proper place on the rack. As you can see, the shapes will automatically snap to connection points, in this case, rack units, allowing you to diagram your devices as if they were installed on a rack. You can also make connections between devices using the connector tool. As you can see, each port on your device has a connection point. By making a connection between two ports using the connector tool, you can model the connectivity between your devices. NetZoom has over 500,000 shapes from 5,500 manufacturers. But if you're looking for a shape that we do not already have in our library, you can request it directly from the NetZoom Visio add-in. Click on the search pane and click the Request New Shapes button. As you can see, the Request Shapes form will appear. Fill out the form with the shape information you are requesting, along with any comments, and click the Submit button. The shape request will be automatically submitted to NetZoom. NetZoom's shape library is updated weekly, and typically it takes us about seven days to get your shape request added to the library. Finally, if you find any issue with one of NetZoom's shapes, you can report that shape to NetZoom using the Report Shape button. Right-click on the shape you want to report and click Report Shape a similar report shape form will pop up. Fill out the form and submit the shape report. Just like adding new shapes, NetZoom is happy to update older shapes to create, correct any issue you may have with your NetZoom stencils. That covers the basics of diagramming using the NetZoom Visio add-in. Please check out our other videos for more information on using our NetZoom products. And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom Visio stencils or NetZoom DSIM in your own data center, visit NetZoom.com to schedule a free demo.